Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you some projects I created for Carving Out Fun. This is a collaboration with Betty who is Scrap Passion 01. We will be coming on um, beginning September the 11th to just share with you some fun either fall or Halloween projects. It is open up to anyone who would like to participate. You can upload your video anytime um, you would like, um, just as long as you use the hashtag carving out fun. I will have all of the information down in the description box so you guys can play along. I hope that you guys uh, will find some inspiration. I had so much fun. I just sat down and began to create. So let me jump in and share with you guys what I created. The very first thing I'm going to share with you guys is these really cute box that I created and let me share the die um, that I used to create this little fun box. I used this die here by Fun Stampers Journey. It's just a treat box. I've had this in my stash for quite some time and I decided to just play with this box. This is a really nice treat box that you can put some goodies in. So the very first one that I um created here. This is using the Hello Pink Autumn Prima um, paper and I just, you know, as you can see here, I added just some layers here, some really fun little um, eyelash trim here. So it says sweater weather and so I thought that this little um, addition to the little eyelash trim would be fun. I just have, you know, some little um, die cuts behind here um, and I fussy cut that out of the paper and let me just open it up so you guys can see what's actually in the box. So I just decided to put some fun little lippies in here. Nothing uh, fancy guys. You can put whatever you want in this box as you can see. it. I put some tissue paper here. Um, again, just a little fun way to send a package. You can seal it here and have it down like this. I didn't seal it for the purpose of the video, but yeah, you can actually um, give this to someone. That's the first box. The second box is this fun box here. This is the Anna Griffin um, cardstock here. It's uh, It has a little shimmery. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. So it kind of matches the autumn here. And I just put a sticker, some leaves that I had in my stash. And again, let's just open it up. This one, I just included, you know, just some little, uh, for demonstration purposes, I just put some of the pop um, colored here and some of the um, liquid pearls just down in the box just to kind of tell you or show you guys exactly how much you can put in there and I probably could have put something else in there because like see I can even add that little lippy there if I wanted to so really fun you can adhere the box there and again just a really fun way to send some happy mail or to give some goodies to someone. Okay. The next project that I created is this really fun um, coffee, um, curate coffee container here. I just have a little bow here um, on the top of it, um, have lots of layering. This is a, a little chipboard sticker that's, um, or embellishment that says grateful. I added some stickles there, just lots of little layering, fussy cut some of the little paper um, there and then added another little wood pumpkin here with some stickles. I did a ribbon um, um, little embellishment here, um, added this. This is some trim from Hobby Lobby. I really like that trim there, it has some gold in it. Um, then I have a little stitching that I have here. I have just a little um, acetate doily that I have behind it. And then you just can open it up just like this. And this is a silhouette file, guys. And so you open it up and what I've included is just some coffee, right? We can all use some coffee. And the paper that I use for this one is the Autumn Leaves um, uh, DCWV, okay? So again, you could just tie this back up with a little cute little bow on it and gift this to someone. And so I'm not gonna fuss with this bow because you guys know I love a perfect bow. <laughs> and so I don't want to um, fuss with it, but very cute. I love it. I 
this little coffee container is so stinking cute. Um, you know, you can put whatever flavor coffee you have. You can actually, um, you know, do like a pumpkin spice thing that will be really cute um, with this. So um, it, I, I will um, try to leave the link down in the description box for the silhouette file that um, I actually, um, you know, got for this. Uh, it was super easy, guys, um, you know, to create um, down in the description box, okay? All right, project number three is this really cute, fun little um, candy dispenser here that I created. I added some candy corn here. There's a side view of that um, candy dispenser, and um, it's super small, super cute. Um, you can embellish this however you um, would like. Um, but again, lots of little yummies in there. Um, you could just fill it up and um, like the demonstration was on the die, they actually use little gumball candy um, there. So this could, you know, um, be more than just a fall decor. You can actually do a sweet treats thing, um, you know, so cute. And then, um, sorry about the glare, but I have this little felt little um, squirrel here on the front. I have a little sticker here that says fallen leaves. Again, super, super cute. It's a little fun treat um, box here that you can, um, you know, give to someone. And I, I think you could even put, you know, um, little embellies and things like that down there in the bottom. Maybe some um, beads for, you know, um, some dangles or something like that. So, just a little fun, like I said, a little fun, cute little idea here. Let me show you guys the die that I used. I used this die here. This is a very old die that I had in my stash. Picked it up at Tuesday morning a long time ago. So it's the candy dispenser um, die. Um, and this is how it looks um, on the back. And so, yeah, just really fun. Like I said, you know, in this die, they actually had some little candies there. I just added candy corn since, of course, this is fall and in mine. So, yeah. The next thing that I created is this card, gift card, um, slimline card that I created. Um, I used some paper. This is in the open um, stock at uh, Hobby Lobby. I just really love this paper. It's so pretty. I just added a belly band to it, so I pulled this off. And of course, you know, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Snuggle had to appear um, this year. It wouldn't be <laughs> a um, fall or Christmas, um, you know, either um, project for me that I don't include that little die there. I just have a little pumpkin um, sticker there. This was an actual sticker that I had in my stash. I just add fall vibes and then added a little sticker there and just created a little belly band that you can have on the actual card. Um, I kept it very simple. I just added a little sticker out of my, a corner sticker out of my stash. This um, opens up here. I have just a die here and um, this is a die that I picked up from Allie. I um, cut this fallen leaves out and as you can see I have a gift card stuck right there in the middle of the card. And so again, very, very cute. You can just simply add the belly band back, put this in a very nice um, envelope and give, gift this to someone um, for fall. So very, very simple, but I like how it turned out. Lastly, guys, I have been playing with some um, clay. This is uh, something that I have been obsessed with for quite some time. Um, I did a video a long time ago where I kind of played with uh, some polymer clay. Um, I followed uh, or looked at a lot of tutorials. Um, these are, you know, most definitely not perfect, but I'm, you know, still learning and still trying. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to create some uh, pumpkins that kind of match the um, autumn, the Hello Pink Autumn paper. And so, um, as you can see, I um, have, you know, the pink and I just have a little eye pen there in the top. Um, I have the purple there and then I have that blue there. So I like how they turned out. I am still learning. So I 
again, we'll continue to play with them. And then of course I had to create a little macaroon and I think this is my second try at creating a macaroon. Again, not perfect, but I, again, I like how it turned out. So cute. You can easily just kind of add these little pumpkins onto a charm or a dangle or something like that to go along with the paper. So I will most definitely continue to play along with the polymer clay. And I actually used the air dry clay on these, okay? And then if that wasn't enough, I um, decided to play and make some of those little mints. You guys know the little mints that you get. They're soft, they kind of dissolve very quickly. I love them. I loved them as a kid. So again, I just made some in a variety of colors here. Um, just added some seam binding. Um, these were super easy to make. Um, and so again, this can just be a little fun display um, to um, add. I am really enjoying, um, you know, playing with clay. Um, and, and, and learning how to, you know, manipulate the clay a little bit better. So that is all of my projects, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed what I created today. Um, please go over and check out Betty Scrap Passion 01 um, channel to see what she created. I'm sure you guys will be inspired. Um, don't forget to check the description box to play along. You can also play along on Instagram if you wanted to just post a picture if you do not make videos. This is all about fun, all about creating and just having fun. So um, if you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you as part of my family and um, check me out on Instagram. A lot of times I post on Instagram, um, you know, some of the projects that I actually create. And so I'm Markeisha Staple on Instagram. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.